The age that a child is first identified and diagnosed with autism is important because um, the earlier that a child is identified and diagnosed, the earlier they can start to access the services that they need. Early intervention can lead to long-term improvements in language, communication and behaviour, but it's important that children can start to access these services at the earliest possible point in development because this is when the brain is most malleable and so the younger the child is, the more likely he or she is to benefit from early intervention. The research tells us that autism spectrum disorders can be reliably diagnosed by 24 months in the majority of cases, but we know that in practice diagnosis often does not occur until a later age. This is concerning because many children with autism may be missing out on critical intervention during these important early years. My research with Cheryl DeSanayake and Josie Barbaro has looked at determining the age that children living in Australia first receive a diagnosis of autism and are thus able to access key intervention services. We've um, been able to access data from the National Helping Children with Autism package which has allowed us to look at age of diagnosis in a very large sample of children uh, with autism who are aged under seven years. There's been very little Australian data available on this topic until now and this is the first study to look at the age and number of children with autism right across Australia. We've found that the average age of diagnosis for children living in Australia is about four years of age that less than 3% of children are diagnosed by 24 months and the most frequently reported age of diagnosis is close to six years. We've also found that there are differences between states in the number and age of children that are identified with children in New South Wales and Western Australia currently identified at an earlier age. More children with autism are identified in Victoria than in any other state in Australia and the ABS has also recently released data supporting this finding. Uh, the smallest proportion of children with autism were diagnosed in the Northern Territory and those that were identified here were diagnosed at a later age. I think that there are many factors that can contribute to the age that a child with autism is first diagnosed, including the type and severity of symptoms the child has. But I think that the differences we've seen here between states are largely due to community characteristics and factors related to the service system. So uh, the availability of services and how accessible they are to families is a key factor, along with knowledge and awareness of autism in the community. I think this study has shown us that we still have a long way to go in promoting the early identification and diagnosis of autism in Australia. From here, we need to look at the barriers and enablers to early identification and work to determine what specific factors can contribute to a child being diagnosed at an earlier age and what we can do to help families access services for their child at the earliest possible point.